Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again, guys, with another great video, great toy news coming your way. We will be talking about all these great figurines coming out and some of these figurines I believe are just a little bit overpriced. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Okay, let's talk about some Super 7 news. They got J uh, Jenga, Jenga from uh, the Ghost Warrior coming out from Super 7. He looks badass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm not, um, you know, collecting Super 7 anymore, but this one looks badass. I like the, the way he looks. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, like, um, the the ghost type of hologram type of figurines. And uh, this one looks, it, it looks really, really cool. Uh, what they say, this is uh, the 7-inch scale exclusively on super seven okay so this is only gonna be exclusively on super seven if you guys see like look at look at his boots his boots look like it's like ice you know what i'm saying his, his other part looks like he's like a ghost but it's like and i like how they put like the red thundercat symbol and they kept that like how it was and then put that invisible so that so even though i sound like i mean if he was invisible that's not a part of him but you know what i'm saying but the the sword looks like it's a like just a, a a big old like you know ice pick type of sword. He this thing looks badass. I'm loving the cape. I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's see what he comes with. Okay, he comes with like six alternate hands, and he comes with the Thundercat sword, and he comes with uh, uh, the regular Ghost Warrior sword. I don't know what uh, that what those two swords are actually called. You know what I'm saying? So. But look at him. I mean, look look at this guy. I mean, I, I'm you know you know what's buying me more about this figurine is the background. The, I'm loving the background. It looks like you know just a deep type of cloud red. This thing looks nice. You know what I'm saying? I, and I like, I, I really do like this. I, I really I really do appreciate when they do good artwork on figurines. This thing looks really really nice, really cool. So um, this is only going to be exclusive guys from super seven. So, um, watch out. So, you know, watch out for that. If you, if you guys are interested in that, um, let's talk about more super seven. Okay. So, uh, super seven, I guess is starting to come out with seven inch scale star Trek, the next generation. We got Whoopi Goldberg. We got, um, like uh, the, the cyborg, um, from uh, Star Trek, like don't get me wrong, I used to be real. I used to like Star Trek just for a hot minute. I really did, and uh, I I know it's like uh like like it's either you like Star Wars or you like Star Trek. It's like people who I forgot like you know I I I didn't know it was people out there who were just like battling against like Star Wars and Star Trek, and uh you know I, it wasn't like was because of that like I need to pick a side between Star Wars and Star Trek. I just really, I like Star Trek for a little bit for some type of reason, but Star Wars is my passion, but Star Trek, it looks pretty cool though. I mean, I never really got into the show, let alone anything else, or like the movie or anything like that, but I did like the figurines for some reason. I don't know which, if you know what I'm saying, why, but I just did. So anyway, guys, they're coming out with um, the ultimate Star Trek, the next generation, uh, wave one. I really don't, I don't know. Like my thing is, I feel like Super Seven biggest um, good going. I mean, I don't know if you want to. I don't know how you want to say it, but I believe their big run for their for the money is the Thundercats. <clears throat> the Thundercats. I really believe that Super Seven. Um, I don't know. I, I think when they make these ultimate figurines, I really believe that you know what I'm saying they're a little bit overpriced. I, if, if if you ask me. I I mean I guess we'll see how this goes. You know what I'm saying? This might be take forever to come out anyway. But you know what I'm saying? We I might just get lost in you know t as time goes on, or these might be done faster. I don't know. I mean, but uh, these particular figurines, I don't know. I I think that they're they look cool, but I think they're going to be a little bit overpriced. Obviously, I think the the cyborg is going to be like 59. I believe everybody else is going to be like 54. But I, but you know, one thing about Super Seven products, I see that when they come out, they stay steady for a little bit with the price, and after a while, they start dropping. So, like anything else with Super Seven, I wouldn't be in a rush to get these figurines. Exactly, like right when they come out, or anxious when they come out. I, I wait a little bit because I'm pretty sure you can get it for like ten dollars less after like a month or two or whatever. 
Um, that that's just me. I I, I think you somebody will be um, whoever's into this collection will be able to get it like that. Okay, so let's jump over to Hasbro Plus news. Okay, Hasbro has another Haslab uh, Japanese Chinese Transformer coming out, and um, really tell you the truth, guys, I I don't know. I really believe like these these Haslab figurines are becoming to be a little bit overpriced. I believe, like, I mean, how many big HasLab figurines can you get that you can actually store it, like, at whatever place you have? I mean, unless you just got a big-ass mansion, big-ass basement. I don't know. I, I, I think that HasLab needs to, like, just chill on that. I, I think, I think you know what I'm saying? I think they're, they're getting carried away with, like, these big figurines and selling them for this high price, you know, out the, out the wall, you know, price for these figurines. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna move across the border. Uh, as you, know, as everybody know who doesn't have one like me, Transformer um, Ultimate Prime Auto Robot is obviously in the U.S. But if you were in the U.K., it is announcing on Hasbro that Hasbro will be putting a pre-order for the Ultimate Prime. If you guys are interested in one, me, I would rather see that thing drop until it hits like two hundred. I just don't think right now it is worth the seven hundred dollar um, price tag it has on it. That's just me saying it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I really do think it was kind of shitty of them to like throw in the trailer separate from getting this Optimus Prime. I really believe that they should have just threw that all in together. But you know, hey, they're trying to get some money. So, <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, Hasbro is making more Star Wars Black Series figurines. And uh, let's see who we got here because I'm like leaving, reading from this phone. Okay, so um, let's see. So we got we got a trooper. Let me see. Let me see who. Let me see if I can. Um, Black Series available. Okay, blah, 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 blah. okay, I don't know who exactly who this is. But they have a um, at set trooper. Okay, that so he is. Let me make sure I get that right. He um, this is from Star Wars uh, Magdalorian. He is not an at set trooper. I don't think he's a din dinger. Uh, I don't know. Um, he looks like a at set trooper a little bit. <laughs> then they have um, th then they have from the game Star Wars from the Black Series coming out. They got uh, Kayla Cassis Cassis coming out. She looks, I don't know, she she or he don't look good. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but they have another Boba the Fett coming out. This one looks pretty cool, a six-inch. I, I do have the six-inch uh, um, Boba the Fett figurine that I um, gave to my friend's uh, son. And um, so this one's, I don't know, this one might be worth a little bit of money. This is a, the 12-inch black-corded Star Wars. Okay, moving on from there, we have a Spider-Man and Carnage VHS, like the Power Rangers and like the X-Men type of look. We have, um, um, what's this, uh, Sp Spider-Man, um, Symbolic and Carnage coming out. Seems like it's going to be a double pack VHS, so that's pretty cool. Wish he's had the window type of, you know, look at him, but... I guess we'll see how that paint job looks on them, because or if they stand up pretty good, or if they're very, um, you know, good products. So, but we'll see. Um, moving on from there for some more Hasbro news, we got some Star Wars Vintage Collection because you know these this this is my type of line of figurines. They have a trooper coming out, um, and um, what is it? What, can, what is it? The artillery um, stormtrooper coming out. He looks pretty cool, though. But he's from the Magdalorian. I kind of stopped collecting, like, the Star Wars vintage figurines because I don't watch the Magdalorian, and that's the only um, vintage ones they got coming out anymore. I got all the other Star Wars from the old days, like the 70s, going into the 80s, so I'm very content with that. These Magdalorian figurines, I definitely will not be getting, but, hey, I'm, I'm not trying to stop anybody from getting it. I just think that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they should have a retro look because... They're not old, I guess you want to say. They're not old. They're like, you know, they're in, they, um, you know, this, movie, this series just came up, came up, um, came about. So, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I would like them for, to tear away from that part because it's just like, they're just trying to make anything vintage type of look. So, I don't know. Um, so, 
Uh, let's move on from that. They have the retro 375 collection Ghost Rider figurine and his red motorcycle coming out. This one looks pretty cool. I like that. I, I like the box art of it too. Looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, they have him coming out. I'm not, I don't know if this, oh, this is a three inch. Let me see. A, no, no, it's not three inch. Uh, I think this might be a seven inch or a six inch figurine coming out. So this thing looks pretty cool though. I think it's pretty cool. So you have to see the picture up there somewhere like that, anywhere like that. So, um, yeah, so um, let me see if we got any more, any more good news. Uh, no, 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 no more good news from Hasbro. We don't have any more. Uh, let's let's uh, check out, um, let's check out NECA. Let's see what NECA got going on. Okay, so uh, what is it? Uh, so uh, ha um, Happy Halloween from um, the Monster Bash from the TMNT line. Uh, they got a little glimpse of Invisible Donatello. I don't know when he's supposed to come out. I thought he would be coming out by now because, you know, it's Christmas. I, I really thought he would have been out by now. But I guess we'll, um, we'll wait and see if he just happens to, you know, turn up. So, um, Nick really didn't got nobody, like, really good to, like, you know, talk about. So, yeah. So, um, let me see. So, let's, um... No, no, nothing really, nothing really, nothing really. Anyway, guys. So, anyway, I'm going to be looking to add some more toy figurines, making some more videos. So, I'm about to cut this thing short. And I was really not sure. It's kind of a little bit long. Sorry about that, guys. But, anyway, um, let's don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more.